Got a message the other day. Could you help me graph an equilateral triangle parametrically? I've entered cosine of t and sine of t in the calculator, set it on degrees, and asked for a t-step of 120 degrees. It works beautifully on the 84, so I know I'm not entering incorrectly. However, when I do it on the Inspire, you get it an unusual shape. And so let's take a look at that. Uh, first off, let's do it on the 84. What do you need to do? Uh, well, if you're going to do parametric, you need to go to mode. And then we'll choose um, degree because of how um, the question was asking about 120 degrees and so forth. And there it is in parametric. Now if we went to y equals, then we'll, we'll do a sine of t and a cosine of t. And actually, the uh, story is, is, is this is a circle. Um, here's cosine of t. Um, but if you only plot a couple of points and then you connect those points, then you would get um, a triangle. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's look at the window. Um, press enter. Okay, so let's look at the window. Currently, the default is to do radians um, because life is in radians. For example, the circumference is, is 2 pi radians times the radius. All right, but we wanted it to do this in degrees, 360 degrees, and a t-step of how about 120. And so it's going to step 120 um, degrees. And uh, All right, so I think we're ready to look at the graph of that. Let's see how this turns out. Hmm, I don't think that window looks appropriate. Let's go back to that window. Um, it's going from an x min of 7.7. .7. That's odd. How about we do something more like um, a negative uh, 2 to 2 and um, a tick mark every one, sure, negative 2 to 2. Because what it's going to do is actually it's, it's just a unit circle. Um, it's just a circle of radius 1. Okay, now let's see how that's looking. Good, graph. Now there we go. There is this, um, this circle. So that was um, the question, is how do you do that on the Inspire? All right, well, let's do a new document. We'll just jump right in here and take a look, and we want to um, make do something on the graph. Now, the Inspire is menu-driven, so if you want to do something, you can do it under menu. But I'm a big fan of right-click. Control menu is right-click, and we want to change it to parametric. Now, um, we didn't change the uh, the settings from the uh, the default to be in radian so let's let's go to uh, um, menu and um, hey look there's settings and so right down there at the bottom so I up arrowed once and got to settings and um, we can see that the graphing angle is in radians uh, but we wanted to graph in degrees just for this situation so we'll say okay for this one time we'll do that and uh, we were going to do it with um, sine of of t and um, the cosine of t. And then, of course, we don't want that. We want 360, and we want this to be the 120. Okay. So before I press enter, I'm going to tell you that the default is not to um, just do points and connect the points. It um, does some additional smoothing. And so then you will get um, an unusual looking graph. Let's press enter and see uh, what we see. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit here and uh, take a closer look at what's going on. Um, so let's look at the uh, the settings. I'm going to right click again. While I'm hovering over it, I'll press that control menu and I can choose attributes. Now you don't have to do right click if you're like, how do you right click? Because sometimes you right click in the wrong spot. Um, it's under attribute. It's under uh, menu action attributes, and then you can click the thing you want to do the attributes to. Click. So. Um, right now it says it's um, continuous and we scroll down and it has the minimum and the maximum and so we perhaps we didn't want it on um, oh there it is the graph is is continuous it's doing the best it can to make it continuous um, if you did discrete then you can see there are the discrete points um, if you did discrete and connected then there's that so while we're here um, let's take a look and uh, change that step size what if we wanted to do uh, 60 instead Look at that. We have um, 360 divided by 60. We have a nice um, six-shaped thing. Um, what if we did um, 
a step size of 20. That's interesting. Or, or um, let's do, I think we already did 120, didn't we? Yes. Um, how about 90? What do you think that's going to be? Yes, a nice little square. So that's kind of fun to do. And that's the story of how you can make that happen. 120, enter, enter. And, um, and there it is. So yes, under menu, you could change your, your window size, like the window settings like we were doing before. Negative 2, tab 2, tab 1, tab, negative 2, tab 2, tab 1, and enter. Enter. And there's there's that. Um, although since it's supposed to be equilateral, it would probably be appropriate to choose the, uh, the window and make it um, square, um, to, to zoom square. And that looks like a nice equilateral triangle, as was requested. And so.